Hey, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie Renee, and I am a Juilliard trained opera singer. Ooh, Maggie's Minutes Off. This is Meatloaf 2 Out of 3 Ain't Bad PCM Stereo. I don't know what that is, but 2 Out of 3 Ain't Bad by Meatloaf. Y'all, this is supposed to be another fantastical, fantastical video. I have not seen it. Like I said, now the only two videos that I've seen is I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. And then now we've also seen the other one that we just watched, which was The Paradise. <laughs> I cannot believe I watched that video. I didn't even realize that it was gonna be like that. The Paradise by the Dashboard. That was good. Swing, better, better, swing. Okay, anyways, um, I'm far too hyper right now. <laughs> Excuse the Maggie extraness. This is just, you know, just a little bit of craziness. All right, guys, this is two out of three ain't bad by Meatloaf. Thank you so much, Mike, for sponsoring this video. Guys, let me know what you like and what you don't like. And Mike, let us know if there's anything else we need to know. Let's do this. Type a one if you've seen this video before. I've never seen it. Oh my gosh, look at how many of you have seen this. Wow. <laughs> one in Spanish, en Espanol. That's amazing. Who gave Maggie money for the candy machine? Oh my God, I want candy. I want candy. Okay, let's do this, guys. Meatloaf, two out of three ain't bad. I hope y'all enjoy this. Thank you so much. There's nothing left inside of me. Okay, so this one has a little bit of a different placement than the other one. Obviously, it's a little bit more gentle vocally, so he has to kind of pull back a little bit while maintaining his support of his voice so that it's not like, you know, a little bit dead. Um, so it's kind of interesting to hear the way that he's supporting is just really, really like an, a fascinating thing to me in this case to keep the voice on the sound basically. Um, and also I love his diction. It's so clear. Like everything he's saying, you can understand every single word, which I love. I love singers with good diction. It reminds me of like Leia Salonga. She's fantastic with her diction. All right, let's keep on watching. How he's floating? I told you everything I possibly can. Do you hear that? I taught you everything I possibly can. Like the way that his voice goes in that moment is like he's just laying on a floating cloud of support. Does that make sense? Like this is what's supporting the whole entire like rib cage area and diaphragm. But like essentially, it just feels like he's floating over the note that he's singing it's really fascinating i don't know if you can hear what i'm talking about but it's really a beautiful quality i told you everything i possibly can, can. there's nothing left inside of me Ooh. maybe you can cry That's such a good line. You've been cold to me for so long. I'm crying icicles instead of tears. Are you kidding? What? What? That's such a good line. Also, love the way... This is like a meatloaf characteristic, I think, of the way he sings. Like the ends of the phrases. He's really like... Da -dum -da. And he has this little vibrato at the end that's just really, really sweet to listen to. Let me see if I can find it and point it out. But you've been cold to me so long. 
don't like there. But you've been cold, cold. He like has like a little trail off there. It's really cute. I'm tired of words and I'm too hoarse to shout. Too hoarse to shout. But you've been cold to me so long. I'm crying icicles instead of tears. Oh, now it's much more out of sync. My bad. Hold on. Let's fix that. Let me rewind just a little bit. But that's really, really beautiful. Oh, so good. Okay, let's keep on listening. I like this song a lot. Very different vibe from the last one that we just listened to, The Paradise, but I mean, still absolutely characteristic of Meatloaf. Like this is much more, like if I would have heard this first, I feel like I would have been like, oh yeah, that's a little bit more like expected of Meatloaf in comparison to Paradise where it was just like, what? Who is this guy? Okay, let's keep watching. To shout, but you've been cold to me so That's such a sad line! And all I can do is keep on telling you I want you. I want you. I need you. I need you. But there ain't no way I'm ever gonna love you. Now love. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Cause to how to free. referring to with the two out of three what does that mean i want you i need you i will never love you oh 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 no that's terrible i missed that part i was paying too much attention to the singing oh my heart oh wait let me listen again one second what i want you i want you i need you i need you He's negotiating this really, really well. Also, I want to go back to that little nasally thing that he does. That's really, really beautiful. He's he's modifying this belt really, really well because it's a high note and he's not really trying to go all the way up to it, but he uses like the back of his sound to get up there. Listen to this. I know you're looking for a ruby in a mountain of rocks. I know you're looking for a ruby in a mountain of rocks. I love that. But uh, there ain't no. Uh, is it Coupe de Ville? Is that what he's saying? There ain't no something? There ain't no Coupe de Ville. What is that? Coupe de Ville? But there ain't no Coupe de Ville. <laughs> Whatever that means. I don't know what that means. Anybody wants to say what it is? Coupe, Coupe de Ville car. Oh, it's a car. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What's a Coupe, Coupe de Ville? Oh. Oh, it's a Cadillac. Ooh, I like this pink one. Look at this pink one. Oh, I want that car. <laughs> that's a really nice car. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's cool. All right. Uh, let's continue watching. But, oh, what I was saying is, is like, there ain't no Coupe de Ville hiding in the bottom of a Cracker Jack. Like, it's very in the nasal position, but it makes it so powerful. I love the way that he does that. It's very strong. Mountain of rocks. Oh, 
Well, it's interesting because he starts off the beginning of this line in a belt, but then he backs off the voice and it's like a whisper belt. Listen. I can't lie. He goes, I can't lie. Like it goes from a belt into a whisper. Do you hear that? I can't lie. He backs it off. That's so interesting. He doesn't stay in it the whole time. I can't lie. You hear the air? love with somebody The performing, though, I mean, this song, like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Like, the concept of him now not being able to love somebody because he loves somebody who couldn't love him, that's just absolutely beautiful. And the way that he's singing it is so true and honest. Like, it's so not kitschy or, like, what is it, overdone or... or um. What is it that I always say? It's like bubblegum, you know, it's like too much, you know, like not not too much in like the good extra way, but like too much in like the, oh, we're singing. You know what I mean? Like it's real and it's really, oh, it's just beautiful to watch the way that he does this and the way that he's singing it. And like, I like the vocal techniques that he's using. I like the fact that he's not belting the whole time because the song isn't all about that. It's not even like pain. It's just like reality. You know, the belting would come with a with a strength. This is more of like a weakness and a reality check. Isn't that insane? And he really makes that clear with the way that he sings it and the way that he pronounces the words. I mean, ah, uh, ah, uh, so good. Okay, let's keep on watching. I So rough. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. That's just like, ugh. My whole heart hurts for him. Oh no. Oh my goodness. I, I just, I can't. The emotions, the way that he portrays this song, the vocalism choices that he makes in order to perform this song honestly and truthfully and without like the cliches and all of that is just absolutely fabulous. I I really like the way that that he uses his voice and the way that he uses his performance skills and confidence on stage to like really portray these songs correctly and really well. 
It's really exciting to see this kind of stuff. Wow. Thank you so much, Mike, for sponsoring that video. That was epical. Thank you guys all so much for listening to it with me. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment down below what you enjoyed and what you'd like to hear next, and subscribe to join my BEA beautiful family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maggie Renee Music so that you can join me on all of my adventures as a singer living in New York City, studying at Juilliard, and traveling the world, taking you on stage and backstage with me. If you would like to support this channel, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon where you can get exclusive perks and benefits. You can also hit the cute little blue join button to become a member of the Skittle Squad. Skittle Squad, let me hear you down below. Also, be sure to check out the links down below in my description so that you can see all the ways that you can follow me, connect with me, and support the channel. You can also go to maggierenee.com links to find all of the different places that you can visit, such as my Discord. Make sure you join the Discord because I'm a member of the Eyebrow Army, TikTok, Patreon, how to sponsor a reaction, my vocal course called How to Sing Better Instantly, and much, much more. Thank you all so much for watching, and I am sending you all so, 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 so much love. And I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.